Okay, today uh, came my Victron Energy 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, I've had the odd one or two Victron um, products and I find them highly reliable. Now, I have recently bought, along with this, an MPT, an MPPT charge controller. Now, I already have one of these, it's about six years old, uh, but it's only a 75, 15, as well, this is 100 volts. 15 amps um, and the other thing about this is that you needed a VI VE direct cable to plug in to have Bluetooth this has got the Bluetooth uh, built into it so hopefully that should make life a bit easier I'll do a quick unboxing of that uh, very soon and show you it in progress but today I just want to show you this uh, Victron 500 watt inverter now I've heard lots of reviews about this inverter uh, saying it's a low frequency, a very low energy and very efficient um, inverter and the actual sine wave at these particular um, products is as good if not better than the stuff you get at the main socket. So I'll give it a test a bit later on as I've got a, um, a lithium phosphate 100, 100 amp hour battery on route as well. So as soon as that comes, I'll try it and it's charged. I'll try it along with this and we'll see how things go. I'll tell you what the noise levels are like. Um, I'll tell you what the efficiency is like and obviously anything else to do with it. Now, the box is quite heavy, so my life. This is really heavy. Oh, I struggle to pick it up with one hand. Okay, let's put that to one side for a moment. And the box falls on the floor never mind so i can't believe how heavy this is and i'm not too sure whether they're all this heavy this is a 12 volt one um and they do i think the smallest they do these in is a 250 watts realistically you get about 200 watts out of them so although this is a 500 realistically you're going to get about 400 although i think the peak power of this is about 700 maybe wrong maybe a bit more i'll have to check the manual so when you turn the thing on it peaks actually i think it's more than than 700 i think that's a 375 but i'll check that later so quick walk around this you've got a uk plug socket be careful which one you buy if you're in the uk because some of these do have other plug sockets which are not the same so check on that um, on the back you've got the connectors for the uh, battery you have got the off which is in the center position the on and the eco and you have a ground um, and also here uh, you can see that there's a VE direct and the VE direct cable and Bluetooth adapter that I've got for my MPTT um, charge controller my old one which I've had about six years and it's worked flawlessly I'm going to use to monitor this because that other one has got built-in Bluetooth um, so there's not else really a lot I can say at this point it's got a plastic housing um, and I take it that that is metal yes it is it's a metal base plastic housing but I can't get over to you how heavy that is I'd have to look on the box to see the exact weight but that is it doesn't say on here does it I don't think so no but that is incredibly heavy and these products are incredibly well made so I've got a hundred percent faith that this is going to work efficiently and effectively and the reason I purchased this is because I have a number of items um, like an iMac, uh, sorry, a MacBook Pro, my iPhone and a few other things which are really expensive products. And the last thing you want to do is go on eBay, buy a what they claim to be a pure sine wave convert, inverter and then you plug it in and it knackers your bloody uh, items. So if you've got expensive items, the only thing I'd say is that buy something that protects them. It's worth spending the extra bit of money. It's not extremely expensive. In the UK, you can pick these up for about 145 quid or pounds. Uh, if you're American, you listen to it. But anyway, I don't know what that equates to in dollars, but um, they're well worth the money if you've got sensitive items. I won't be using this for heavy loads, uh, but I might be using it for long periods of time, hence why I got it. Um, I know it's not just going to blow up on me straight away and I know that I can have it on pretty much all day and it will do the job. So when my battery comes and it's fully charged, um, I will test this out. 
Uh, having said that, I have got some further batteries which are 20 amp hours and I've got them linked in series and that should give me about 40 amp hours. So I may try this later on tonight um, just to see what it's like and I will come back and add to the review.